This coming Sunday, we celebrate the second Sunday in ordinary time. The celebration of the baptism of the Lord last weekend concluded our Christmas season. We return to the liturgical season of ordinary time for a few weeks before we begin the season of Lent. Our gospel is taken from John chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. It is the passage about the wedding at Cana. It is a familiar story for most of us. Let's take a listen. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. Jesus, his disciples, and his mother Mary are at a wedding. During the early months of COVID, young couples preparing to be married had to change plans. They had to reschedule, downscale, and in general, be very flexible about just about every aspect of the wedding planning. Things have gotten somewhat better since then. Planning a wedding continues to be a stressful activity for the engaged couple. So many details. And in our own time, the cost of a wedding can be exorbitant. I suppose that one of the common themes of wedding planning from the time of Jesus till now, is that the couple wants everything to go just right. They want their guests to be happy. They want their celebration to be joyful, to be memorable. In the Gospel passage, we're reading about the wine running out. Mary, who becomes aware of this predicament, says to her son, they have no wine. In other words, do something. Help this young couple. Mary knows her son wants to help others. Where there is a problem, he can be the solution. Jesus performs his first miracle, changing water into wine, thus ending what would have been a socially embarrassing situation for that newly married young couple. The deeper meaning of the miracle, perhaps the message for each of us, is that Jesus does not run out of anything. Jesus can give us what we need. Where there is a problem, he is the solution. He is the answer. For example, we can run out of patience. Jesus does not. We can turn to him and ask for patience, not for more wine. When we run out of compassion, we can also turn to him. When we run out of respect, when we run out of tolerance, whatever it might be that we have in short supply, we can go to the source of unending blessing. Mary, in effect, says to each of us, turn to my son, look to Jesus, he will help you. He is the source of all goodness. He is the source of all power. He is the source of all that we need. 
What are you running out of? Where are you running on empty? Let the gospel fill your week. See you in church. God bless.